Hi everybody. I glad hope you can join me. I wanted to just kind of throw out some just some thoughts that I had about going back to school with Young Living products and essential oils. Um, I currently work at our high school. I'm an associate there and I work one-on-one -on -one with the special needs student. And so, you know, this is also, hopefully those of you who have children will be able to get some information out of this. Um, otherwise, you know, if you're a teacher or, you know, maybe even pass it on to your teachers, that would be great too. So I just kind of wrote down a few little notes and not really major detail, but just some kind of aha things. Um, so I want to start with actually helping your kids get back to sleep because I know this time of year it gets very, you know, the kids are all excited, we're all excited, you know, it's kind of exhausting. So, you know, a lot of times our kids are so excited to start their first day of school that they just can't sleep at night or the time change, you know, they're still on summertime and staying up late and not used to going to bed on time. So this is, you know, a good chance for you to just kind of remember the oils that, oh, hi Kelly. <laughs> this is a good chance to remember those oils that may help promote sleep. So of course, you know, we all know Young Living has some incredible oils to help us with sleep. You know, our lavender and our cedar wood can really help promote a restful night's sleep. Thanks. <laughs> Um, but we also, I tend to always forget that we have the sleep, the kid sense um, collection because my children are older. I've got two in college and my youngest is starting high school this year. I don't know where that time went. <laughs> so, but the kid sense, um, they also do have the sleepy eyes in the kid sense collection. So that would be another good one that you could use, you know, and it's so easy to just put these oils on the kid's feet or have your diffuser running next to their bed. Um, so, you know, now they've got a great night's sleep, morning hits, it's their first day of school, they're, you know, not wanting either, they're not wanting to get up or they're like way awake at four in the morning and waking you up. Um, so, you know, we all need a little energizing in the morning when we wake up. So one thing I like to do in my house is diffuse peppermint, usually with a little lemon or some orange or something that, um, you know, we're able to kind of get us going again. Um, I heard today, um, I think it was in April Pointer's class that I was watching online again. Um, I believe she said something about she diffuses eucalyptus in the morning to help as a pick me up. And I thought, oh, I've got to try that because I love the smell of eucalyptus and I just never think to diffuse it. So that's something I think I might be trying. Um, with moms especially, I know in my household, mornings are very stressful. You know, we're running around trying to remember everything. You know, maybe kids aren't moving as quickly as they should, or maybe I'm behind schedule and the kids are mad at me because I'm going to make them late for school. So, because they ride with me. So, um, you know, I was just going to just bring up the little chill out blend that is very popular with people, where if you just have a small roller ball or roller bottle, you could add 50 drops of lavender. 35 drops of Valor or Valor 2, uh, 30 drops of Stress Away, 15 drops of Vetiver, and 15 drops of Patchouli, and then add to that about 40 drops of a carrier oil. And you could just roll that right on your wrist, on your feet, wherever, and kind of help you chill out a little bit and kind of keep things in perspective. I know mornings can become a screaming match in my household. So, okay, once your kids are at school, my, my um, youngest daughter, the one who's going to be in high school, I still can't get over that, she, is, she actually carries peppermint with her at school. And she's my kid who, you know, doesn't like to claim that she likes to use oils, but she's kind of a closet oil user. <laughs> so she actually carries peppermint with her, and she'll use it, you know, every now and then after lunch, maybe something didn't quite agree with her, and so she'll rub a little on her tummy. Um, sometimes she does it just because she likes the feeling of it on her tummy. <laughs> it does kind of feel kind of cool, but it's nice and cooling. Um, but a lot of times she will, she mainly carries it because she likes to just smell it before tests. She's kind of a type A personality and likes to get great grades. So she kind of gets a little nervous once in a while about tests. So she will open up her bottle of peppermint and just sniff the bottle. 
and she's gotten to the point where she like passes it down to her friends <laughs> in a row so her <laughs> friends will smell it too and so you know it helps them with their concentration so hopefully they do a little better on their tests so that's one thing that you know your child could do too if your teachers allow them to have that bottle in the classroom um, another thing they could do is you could send your kids to school with a leather bracelet or you know even like a little diffuser necklace or something like this that they could have their oils in so they could still smell them when they need it some um some good oils for concentration besides the peppermint could be lemon the brain power oh my goodness brain power is great cedar wood to kind of help with the little focus and lavender those are all really good ones just to you know, relax and calming before a test. Um, some things that your child could do when they're working on their homework, you know, whether they're home or at school after hours. Um, some clarity can really help magnify your their, you know, mental alertness and combat some tiredness that maybe they have at the end of the school day as well. Brain power can help with their focus and just make things a little clearer with their clarity and boost their brain so that maybe they can function a little better. The Kids Sense collection also has a oil blend called Genius, and that is to help them stay on task and help them with concentration and problem solving skills. So oh, another one that I've got to call out is motivation. So that one's kind of speaks for itself. It helps that kid get started. I mean, I know I come home, the last thing I'd want to do is start my homework. You know, the TV's here, I've got snacks, whatever. Now, I know my daughter is very active in sports. So, you know, a lot of kids are active in sports. And one of my favorite products now is one of the new ones that was introduced in the convention this year, and that's the Cool Azul. So my daughter just started cross country practice a couple weeks ago. And you know, when she hasn't been running since track season last spring, you know, you end up with sore, tired muscles. So that Cool Azul can really help ease any discomfort there. Um, another new product that was introduced at convention was the, the Ninja Zing. And the Ninja Zing, um, it's a great bubbly energy drink and it's made with the same um, Ninja Red or Wolfberries. Um, Ninja Zing is a great alternative to those energy drinks out there. They're so bad for your health, like Monster or whatever. Um, and it gives you a lot more energy without the crash, and as, as does the Ninja Nitro. I mean, you just can't go wrong with Ninja. So I also, I found a little combination out there on the web uh, for sore muscles. And if you take some Sulfurzyme supplements, along with rubbing on your orthosport, it could really help with faster recovery for those sore muscles. So I thought that was worth sharing as well. Um, I'd also heard about marjoram, which I haven't quite tried yet, but I'm willing to try this and I'm kind of excited to, that marjoram can soothe muscle tension and nervous tension for like performance anxiety. So that would be another great one for me to try out. Pan Away, of course, we all know Pan Away. Pan Away is a great one for when your kid takes one for the team. <laughs> I mean, accidents happen, things happen. Pan Away is great for that. And we all know Deep Relief. Deep Relief is a really good one for, you know, your sore muscles, for, you know, certain things that happen. And Peppermint. Of course, Peppermint is a great performance enhancer. It can really help put a pep in your performance and a pep in your step. So... Anyway, those are those are the um, items that I had thought of with, um, you know, just the sports and back to school things. Oh, what my, thank you, Kelly. She said my diffuser necklace is beautiful. What do I have in it? Today, I actually have stress away in it. Actually, I put stress away in it last, yesterday afternoon. We moved my two older kids back to college and oh, two kids in one day and we drove four hours there and moved them in drove four hours back home and you know it was crazy it was storming raining whatever when we were doing that so I have stress away in my diffuser necklace oh it's my favorite too thank you um so yeah so all that just kind of brings us right back to bedtime so at bedtime again you could start the cycle all over again with your lavender and your cedar wood so anybody have any questions that they'd like to ask
<laughs> other than my diffuser necklace. <laughs> All right then. Well, I'm glad that you were able to stop in and hopefully everybody has a great first day, first week, first month back to school. So thanks for joining. See you later. Oh, now I got to try to figure out how to stop this. <laughs>